Greetings, mortals! This is uh, Space Gamer, and welcome to my review of the Jolion Chapter 68, Rock Human and Rock Animal Part 1. Yep, as we found out in the last chapter, there are in fact two enemies. One is an another rock human, and the other is a rock animal. Kind of, it looks like a freaking caterpillar, like a freaking giant caterpillar or something. And they're called Urban Gorilla, with his stunt Brainstorm, he's the one uh, with those bacteries thingies, I think. And the animal is, ca is called uh, Doremi Fasolatido. Yeah, Araki ran out of music references, he literally just named an, a character after Doremi Fasolatido. How basic is that? Were there no other bands or songs available? Did he use all of them? Well, that doesn't really matter now. But those guys sure look bizarre. Very bizarre. Like always, everything in this series is bizarre. They were uh, damaged a little bit uh, last chapter, so they were exposed. And, of course, they want to go after the plant uprising first, because that's their objective. They can't let our heroes get the uh, Rokakaka tree. They even decided on the killing order, and of course, Plant Appraiser first, and they're about to go after them. The Plant Appraiser decides to attack uh, them with a knife, but uh, the Rock Human blocks it with the Doremi Fasola Tido abilities. Man, this name is a mouthful. But thankfully, he later is able to uh, stab him uh, with a knife. So that's all good. Well, in a leg, so he won't be moving as easily on his own. But he has that rock animal that lets him hide underground. So that's no good. Immediately after getting hurt, they dived underground and go after Yasuho. And Josuke decides to go after her to save her, but then again. Antipride reminds him that he's so important that he should uh, save him first because he's the number one priority or some crap. But thankfully Josuke ignores that crap and goes straight after Yasuko and tries to save her. And Planta Uprising is left by himself and decides to go to the uh, pole number seven because there are because uh, in that pole there's fuel and power generator. So he wants to burn them up, while well, he still can. Well, what that damage his plants that he's taking care of? But I don't know, I guess plants aren't that important. The Rokakaka tree is the most important right now, I guess. So all other plants can go to hell for our care. But uh, unfortunately the cherry lift was kinda damaged, so he has to use his ability to get over to that pole e and he swings on those tapes like Tarzan or something. At least that's what it looks like. We go back to the, uh, Josuke and Yasuho. Uh, Yasuho tells Josuke that uh, uh, with, with Prisley Spark she found out that there are some there is some bedrock in, nearby, and she tells him that if uh, the enemies had problem uh, going through asphalt before, then they'll have they'll be totally safe if they go to the bedrock area. So they decide to go there. But the enemies quickly catch up, unfortunately. Josuke tries to attack them with soft and wet with his bubbles, but every bubble that he uses against them just appear behind them magically. I don't really get this ability. It was kind of explained earlier, but, but I didn't really understand it. Yeah, maybe I'm just stupid, but... Enemies have really weird anim abilities in this series. I, I mean, seriously. Weird stunt powers. And how many, no many other, how many times Josuke tried to attack them, his soap bubbles just appear behind them. So that's no good. And his leg gets cut by the enemy. His shoe is all messed up. But thankfully he is able to escape by using his soft bubbles and making a balloon to float up for a little bit. And then uh, Yasuko reaches out to him and grabs him and they are in the bedrock area. But that, that was a little nice scene be between them. You can really see that those two care about each other. That was a nice little 
eye contact between them when they grab each other's hands. So, for now they are safe, but those enemies change uh, their objective and attack plant uprisers and the rock human is already at the pole number 7. So it looks like they split apart and the rock animal is after Josuke and Yasuho and the rock human is after plant uprisers. I don't know where that happened, but oh well. And the rock human goes straight for the kill and attacks uh, plant uprisers with his bacterias. And that's where the chapter ends. Yeah, it's not looking very good for neither of our protagonists. Well, Yasuko and Josuke are safe for now, but how the hell do they attack him? The soap bubbles don't work on that Doremi Fasola Tido, and Crazy Park isn't exactly a power based stunt that can attack people, so that's gonna be a problem. And Plant Appraiser is about to be skewered by those bacteria or whatever the hell they are. They look like little Legos. Like, seriously, they look like Lego blocks uh, pieced together and that can travel for some reason. Maybe his uh, stunt will help him, doggy style, if I remember correctly. And he'll turn his body into tapes and somehow beat that rock human? Maybe? Hopefully? Well, I don't really care. He is kind of a dick, really. Oh, but I forgot to mention one thing. When uh, Josuke left uh, Plant Appraiser and went after uh, Yasuko, Plant Appraiser said something like that he really could count on him in the future, so it looks like he was testing Josuke to see if he's worthy of him or something. I don't really get it that much. But it looks like the thing with, with protecting the Appraiser being the priority one was kind of a test to see how he reacts if he's, uh, and if he's worth uh, the plant the plant uprisers trust or something. I hope that's the case because right now he just seems like a dick. Well, you never know. Araki's characters are really, really complicated most of, most of the time. But yeah, that's pretty much it. Nothing else in this chapter, really. Everyone is trouble is in trouble like they were previously, and we gotta defeat enemies and find the Rokaka tree. The objective is still the same, but we're still screwed. So yeah. Other than that, nothing else to say about this chapter. So if you liked my review slash reaction, then please like, rate, comment, and subscribe for more. That has been Spade the Gamer. See ya folks next time. Bye.